guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm just going to show you what i got for my birthday my birthday was on april 26th i turned 28 which is crazy i don't feel 28 and i don't feel like i look 28 but sure enough i'm two years away from 30 it's wild but yeah um i have some a bunch of clothes so i went i i didn't go there i ordered um a bunch of stuff on aeropostal for myself for my birthday and then i also got myself some candles at goose creek and then just some skincare items from the inky list and then i'll show you what my husband dylan got me and then what my family got me my parents and my brother um but yeah i'm just gonna jump right in because i have quite a few things here so first things first i'll start off with what my husband got me so speaking of him here he is giving me some pistachios <laughs> okay go away anyway um so in my last vlog you saw that we went to the odyssey aquarium and butterfly wonderland so that was like my main gift from him and then while we were there i wanted to get something I wanted to get a t-shirt but the t-shirts were like $35 and I just no I can't I cannot justify that so we were about to leave um this was in like the butterfly wonderland section and then I saw this little display and of course it's a cup obviously it's a coffee cup um obviously they have a lot of butterfly stuff there but they have moths and I love moths so much they're so beautiful so I got this little cup with a little moth on it it's so beautiful and then up at the top it's just yellow but I had my coffee in this this morning and I love it I love this so much um, this was around like $13 so he got me that and then he has been traveling on and off for his new job um, it's not going to be like a forever thing him traveling it's a very specific reason why he's traveling um and by the end of may by the end of may he will be done but i love squish fellows and i just grew up loving stuffed animals and i don't think that'll ever go away they're a very they're a comfort thing for me so he got this i think he saw this at the airport um but he got this she's so cute i've been sleeping with her every night with my uh stuffed animal I, you've probably seen him when i'm like making my bed he's a lion his name's leo my dad got him for me when i was 18 and i have slept with him every night since but she's the new uh addition i sleep with her every night um if you don't know i'm obsessed with cheetah print it's a heavy obsession of mine um but yeah she's so cute she's a little tail i named her daisy but i love her so much so he got me that and then moving on to what my family got me now this is a very important gift um i don't know if you've noticed but my last video was about 25 minutes long i've been having issues with my old ipad not having enough storage on it so my family got me a new it's upside down a new ipad this is the ipad air and i got it in this it's like this it's like a champagne -y color um i'll pop the actual name of what ipad this is what edition i think that's what you, i don't know i don't know anything about technology but like i'll put the color and whatever iPad this is, but it is the iPad Air. And um, yeah, I got the like max storage you could get on this. And I've had, um, I had no issue uploading my last video. It was so nice. I'm so thankful and grateful for this. And then I also got the new uh, pencil to go with this because with my old iPad, I had the old generation pencil, um, but that is, it's sitting at my parents. Um, so I'll get that next week. But yeah, I love her. She's beautiful. Um, she works great. And yeah, I'm very, very, very excited. 
So that was from my family. Okay, then moving on to what I got myself. We'll start off with the Inky List, which is a skincare brand. Um, I've been going to the dermatologist for, I think, a little over a year for my skin. I have really bad hormonal acne. I wouldn't say really bad. To me, it's really bad. Um, but I have hormonal acne and, like, extremely sensitive skin. So, I've been on doxycycline and been using retinol for like a year but uh, my last doctor's appointment I said I didn't want to do that anymore because Dylan and I would like to try um, to have kids here in the next year in the very near future we would like to start having kids um, and you can't do that on that medicine and you also can't be using retinol so um, I went on the inky list the first thing that I got and the kind of the reason why I started searching was because since I'm not on that stuff, the dermatologist recommended this, which the prescription of this with my insurance was $180. I said, no, thank you. Absolutely not. I will be not getting that. So I went on Google, typed it in, and this was the first thing that popped up. Um, I don't know how to pronounce any of these, so I won't be trying, but this is a redness relief solution. It instantly soothes irritated skin and neutralizes the appearance of redness. And down at the bottom, it does say it's safe for uh, people who have rosacea. So got that. And then it was buy two, get one free. Uh, so the next thing I got was, uh, this serum. It for moisture because being on those other medications dried the actual crap out of my skin and I've been trying to like fix that um it's been tough I, I hate being dry I absolutely hate I hate it um so I got this I've had this before it locks in moisture for smooth skin instantly and that is the name and it does say it's uh, really good under makeup, which is also kind of what I got it for, just to kind of help with the moisture. So I got that, and then this is what I got for free. I haven't done a mask in years. I, it's been so long, but um, this mask, it's best for stress skin, so it provides instant relief to stress skin. Like I said, I have extremely sensitive skin. It's quite annoying, um, but I thought I'd give this a try. My face will tell me in like two days of using it. I mean, I know it's a mask. I'm not going to use it two days in a row, but two times of using it that it doesn't like it. So we'll see. But uh, here is the name of that. So yeah, I'm really excited about those. That's all I got from the Iggy list. And then next, moving on to my favorite candle company, Goose Creek. Um, I just got three candles. I've been completely out of candles for a little while, um, but I've been just trying to use my wax melts so I can purchase more. But I got two summer scents and then kind of like an in-between scent. So we'll start with the uh, summer scents. So this first one is passion fruit. I'll put all the notes right here on the screen. Um, so this is passion fruit. This packaging is so pretty, but this smells so good. So summery. Um, I'm not going to try to describe it because I, I can't describe scents to save my life, but right on the front here, it says passion fruit, grapefruit, and sugar, which is exactly what it smells like. And then the next one is peach, which I love anything peach scented. And this smells like peach rings. Oh my gosh, it smells exactly like peach rings. It smells so good. And then again, packaging beautiful. On the front it says peach, mango, and sugar. Exactly what it smells like. I'm so excited to burn those. And then the last one I got is Sunlit Sands, which again, 10 out of 10 on the packaging. It's so pretty. 
And then this one is Sands Pineapple and Mango. So good. It smells really clean. I feel like this smells like a Bath and Body Works candle that I've had before. Can't remember the name of it, but it's summery, but it's light and clean and like fresh and airy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it smells so good. So I'll probably light this like when those two are out. I don't know. I switch things up all the time. I say I'm going to do something and I do the complete opposite. But yeah, so that's all I got from Goose Creek. Those will last me a good while with the summer wax melts I have. So lastly, we're going to move on to Air Apostle. I did do a try on of all these clothes because I hate watching hauls where people don't try stuff on. It drives me nuts. I don't know why. And I know I'm, I know I'm not the only one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to move over a little bit because I've never done this before. So bear with me, but I'm going to try to put it like right here. So, um, what I got was necessary. I didn't just go on there and just buy stuff. I got pajama sets, summer pajama sets, which I don't have any. And I feel like the older I'm getting, I don't know. I just really want to start wearing cute pajama sets to bed and I just feel comfortable walking around the house in. I mean, it's just me and my husband, but um, yeah, so I got pajama sets and then I got bottoms. So I got like comfy, loose shorts and then some other bottoms. And then I got two things that were on clearance that I just had to get um, and they're tops. So first we'll start off with the pajama sets. So the first one I got is this adorable little like bluish uh purple i don't know what color this is but it's so cute um and these all fit me so well this is a size extra extra small i am a tiny human um i think i'm i'm like five two or five five three and i'm like 95 pounds i'm a very very small person i always have been i get it from my mom it's genetics um so they anytime a store has extra extra small that's the smallest size so that's the size i'm gonna go for um sometimes if they just have items that only run down to an extra small i'll get the extra small if that makes sense so i always get the smallest size um if stores only go to a small they typically don't buy it because it probably is not gonna fit me it's very annoying buying clothes for how tiny I am is has been a life struggle but I make it work find cute stuff whatever it is what it is so anyway this is a extra extra small love it and then it comes with the matching shorts so here are the matching shorts again in a extra extra small I will also pop the price of these on the screen because I don't remember but love these so cute Next is this matching set. So here's the top. So cute. It has adjustable straps, which is always nice. This is in an extra, extra small. And it also came with matching shorts. The top is a little bit more gray. Um, and then the bottoms are definitely black. Could just be the way that it was like I was gonna say printed but that makes no sense I don't know but yeah these are so cute they have little buttons here very soft very comfortable fits like a glove uh, these are also extra extra small and then these two so the tops are part of a set just like how these were they're matching but the bottoms were sold out so I just got um, just some sleep shorts that were sold separately just to match them so and if they ever come back in stock i'll probably get the bottoms to match them but here is the top to this one it's this beautiful green color this is like my favorite color at the moment i'm kind of obsessed with it um but it just has little pink flowers and little like ruffle detail up here it's so cute and little buttons at the front this one is in an extra extra small as well and then i just got these like waffle sleep shorts to go with it these are super light and airy 
which all of these are. I live in Arizona. Um, summers here are rough. They're really, really rough. I mean, I've lived here since I was five and I'm not used to them and I probably will never get used to the summers here. So these are perfect. Um, but yeah, they're just like this ribbed material. So cute. These go okay together. I'm weird about like colors. Like they have to go perfectly or like I just, I won't wear them. Um, but I mean, it's gray and green. They go great. I love it. It's cute. So that works. Oh, and these were in a extra, extra small. And then next here is the top. This top is so cute. I showed uh, this to Dylan and he was like, those are pajamas because they, they look like clothes. Um, and I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, those are, you know, really cute. I like those. So um, here's the top. Fits perfect. Has a little bow up in the middle here. And then um, yeah, it's just white polka dot. And again, extra, extra small extra extra small than these these are just the black ones of the gray ones again they're like that um i gotta adjust oh um they're like that ribbed material super soft and these i feel like i could like wear these to take Betty on a walk our dog um because like i said they look like just regular shorts so they're very cute fit perfectly and then next these are all the same they're just different colors so i'm just going to get these out of the way um i have a lot of biker shorts and while i'm i work from home so sometimes i don't want to wear really tight pants like i sometimes i just want to wear like a big t-shirt with loose shorts that aren't so constricting um, so I got three of these. I've had these before, but these are actually a different material than the ones I had before. Um, and I actually like these better because the, I feel like they're going to stay put. I only show you what they are. These cute little shorts. They just have the white detail on the side. Um, these are all in a, uh, extra, extra small as well. But the other ones I have were in a different material and they would ride up in the back so my butt cheeks would hang out, which was kind of annoying because I'd have to pull them like way down when I would take our dog on a walk. Or if I'm like filming, um, I never wanted to wear them because they would just ride up in the back. And these are a little bit longer so I feel like they'll stay put. And they're a little bit more of like a summery material than the other one. So I got light gray black love these black and favorite color right now green I mean you can tell like I don't wear a lot of color like that one pajama set is like it's not out of my comfort zone but it's just not what I gravitate towards I gravitate towards this but every once in a while I really like some color so yeah so got these again all in an extra extra small and then these next two items are bottoms. Um, I really only have biker shorts, leggings, and jean shorts, and then jeans. I don't really have like dresses or skirts. Um, and sometimes I just don't want to wear jean shorts. You know what I mean? So um, I got this little skirt. It's very cute. It's just this black ruffled. You're not really going to be able to see it because of the lighting. But it's just this little ruffled skirt. So it has, you know, those, the shorts under. Uh, hello? Oh. <laughs> has the shorts underneath. You're literally not going to be able to see them. But, yeah, I just thought this would be cute if Dylan and I were going out and doing something. Um, or I was doing something with the family. I would have something other than jeans, leggings, or jean shorts. Uh, so yeah, I got this. This one was in an extra small, fits perfect, and it's very comfortable. I do just have to wash it, because I don't really know. You'll see in the like try-on, kind of sticks out right here, but I'm sure after I wash it, it'll lay down. This I'm so excited about, this is so cute. Um, it's this longer, um, this is high-waisted. But it's as longer as you'll see. 
this longer skirt um so cute fits perfect it's just this little black skirt with little white flowers has a slit right here which is always nice and really light material perfect for the summertime i got this one in extra small and then it has just this little clasp right here and then the the zipper which goes in the back but yeah this is probably mm, i don't know the two shirts shirts that i got might be my favorite i don't know i love everything that i got from here i'm very excited but i'm just excited to wear this so yeah got that and then these last two items i kind of just threw in my cart at the end uh because i don't need shirts at all i don't need any tops i have so many it's like it stresses me out to get dressed but i had to so this first one is a graphic t-shirt um i love graphic t-shirts I probably have five or six black graphic t-shirts in my closet right now, but I there's just something about them. I can't stop buying them. And I saw this, I was like, stop it. So, first of all, the colors. Second of all, Johnny Cash. It says Johnny Cash graphic t-shirt. I just loved the colors on it. They were so vibrant and I thought they really looked good together, so... Yeah, and it was, I only think this was like a few dollars. I don't think it was very expensive, but I got this in a extra small. So excited. I love this so much. And then last but not least, I got a hoodie. I know it's summertime and I will not be wearing this until next winter, but I had to. I just had to. So it's a Bronco sweatshirt. I'm obsessed with Broncos, like the newer Broncos that kind of look like G-Wagons. So my dream car is a G-Wagon. I never thought I would ever say that, but I get the obsession. They're so beautiful. But like one down from that is the Broncos. Bronco is such a sick car. I've never been in one. I don't even know what they look like on the inside, but the outside, they look like little G-Wagons. I'm obsessed with them. Um, so I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. It wasn't very expensive at all for a sweatshirt, but I don't know what color this is. It's like a tan, but it has like a super subtle, like light, light green tint to it. Um, kind of like how, what the actual color of the Bronco is. Um, I don't know, it's really cool, but it's super soft. It fits me perfect. Um, and i love it i love it so much so i just kind of threw those in at the end there but yeah that's that's it that's all i got um very excited about the stuff that i got extremely grateful i cannot believe i'm 28 it's terrifying but it's also very exciting at the same time um but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.